I'm Sarah. I'm also a senior studying English and yeah, like what everyone else is saying, like as a non-Jewish American, I didn't really get a full in-depth view of the Holocaust. Um, I mean, in elementary school, I remember reading Number of the Stars, uh, the children's book about the Holocaust, about a little girl goes through it. And in high school, as everyone else did, uh, Reading Night by Eli Wes Weisel. But what I, I actually personally love going to art exhibits and seeing uh, historical events captured through art because I feel like as we've learned just by reading the Holocaust, literature of the Holocaust, you can't really describe it. You can't really put it in words exactly what it was like and for me I think just art is just, it's even that much more powerful to, of a language to depict something that was so horrific in history that not a lot of people either accept or are fully aware what really happened during the Holocaust and that's what I really appreciate about bringing art, especially David Lipkowski's art, into into the classroom and I chose this one specifically just because his eyes sort of reminded me of my own grandfathers um, who like who also had experience in World War II however completely different from Lukowski so that was my drawn to this piece of art and it was interesting to dig through survivors accounts of the Holocaust and where they're at now and I remember looking his name was Yehudi Bekon, I think his name was. He was also a survivor out of Vilna, and he too was an artist as well. And so I think there's so much importance that comes from, you know, depicting the Holocaust through artwork. And I hope everyone learns who aren't really fully understanding of what actually happened during the Holocaust. Hopefully, artwork will be able to express that.